Hey guys. Back on uh, Wind Chaser, just topped off our uh, 990 ATI. Gonna head down the road. We polished off field, uh, field three here. I uh, got about 47,000 liters. Whatever that comes out to, 1,300 bushel or something. Um, so, pretty happy with the performance of that field with our soybeans. Uh, I think it's right around 11 acres, maybe. I think Jake is coming with the green card. Yeah. So he has the big uh, 1500 with the uh, 450 ATI track. So we got uh, field 44, that's going to be a pretty nice uh, harvest of beans. Uh, we took out 17. Uh, with both, both combines going. south uh, sections uh, 44 uh, field 20 it's alfalfa we still have to mow that um, so I was looking at the numbers and we actually like pretty much double our profit if we were to b sell the hay bales off of 20 uh, as compared to if we were to just turn that into corn so Uh, so right now we're probably around 200 to 350,000 um, worth of corn in the bins. It's, uh, it's like 47,000 some odd bushels of corn we have in the bins. Uh, so it really depends on what our price we get. I think we get around 10, uh, 10 cents a liter, or it's like equivalent to like four hundred four dollars and. 50 cents a bushel corn so we usually like to unload our corn um, during great demands same with uh, same with our soybeans our soybeans are spec at maybe like nine or ten dollars a bushel so we'd like to uh, unload those uh, chance to get a good price on it so we got some smaller fields down here that uh, we're playing with we got both trucks that Jake's gonna be dumping into
So Jake probably won't have to bother me for quite some time until I... So hopefully uh, these, these uh, fields do pretty well. I mean, nutrients are pretty high over here um, where they should be. Eleven and five, so I don't really expect. Um, yeah, it's a little bit basic, so. See uh, field seven. Uh, that that, uh, that little field. Uh, I think that was like a hundred and a hundred and two thousand. And then field six was like a hundred nine thousand liters of corn. So. Yeah, I can hear you. Where I'm, where I'm harvesting right now. Uh, but uh, if I look at my little meter, we're going up pretty consistent. I mean, we're doing, we're filling the bin. That's for sure. Gonna knock out this little field and then <laughs> So uh we got uh, about forty uh seven thousand liters of soybean out of three. You keep cutting out, I can't even hear you, so you might have to turn your I could try. Well, you told me to turn down. You should turn up on yours. Turn your thing up for your capture. I think I turned it up to like 20. But the thing is, like, when I hear my. Because I can't hear you. You keep cutting out pretty bad after about one sentence. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's on your end, because on the videos I can hear me just fine. Maybe it's your headset. Be 
you can hear me all right, right? Yeah. So I think it's your headset that's acting for So yeah, I reset the drive control like you wanted, and uh... Yeah, you keep cutting out, I don't know what's going on. Are you using a headset? It's like it's not catching all of your talking, you might be able to catch it, but you cut out on mine. Are you using a headset? Just setting up our lines and speeds. Still cutting out? Yeah, I can't figure out why. Did you turn your capture up a little bit? Uh, was it doing it the other night too? Cutting out? Yeah, because when you talk, it like you start talking. Kobe, can you hear me? Not much. See, Kobe doesn't cut out, but Joel cuts out. Hmm. Or maybe Kobe's cutting out too now. Try 
I do. It's like negative 30 in South Dakota with the wind chill. Stuck my ass. <laughs> so much for tracks. You went through the deepest I couldn't even like engage my now he cuts out again. <laughs> oh we got some corn here in the beans. Joe, go on and turn your thing up so it catches more of your mic, you're done now.